It's the end of January 2024 and we just left the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. We are ready for some downtime and what better place to do it than at Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale. We actually were here about two years ago when it was just, it was the Cabana Club then and they were just starting to change the signage to the Margaritaville. Actually, there are a lot of changes going on. We went back and uh, saw the, the pool, the, uh, I'll call it the adult pool because it's mainly adults there, never saw any kids, but it didn't exist two years ago. And we caught it in progress at the very beginning. What a difference, what an addition. So besides changing it to Margaritaville, the, the brand, there are some other changes. Let's check this place out. Pretty amazing. We just checked in with the guy here at the front gate and he found our reservation right away. We had no balance due and I had to sign a little thing. Here's a packet for you that has some information inside it, the Wi-Fi password, all the fancy this stuff. Okay. And as you can see, our site is a pull-through. Most of them are. And the Tiki Hut with kitchen to the left is not ours. The site is long and wide. We easily parked the Honda in front of Miles. So you can see these sites are really nice and long. One of the pull-throughs, got a kitchen area. Entertaining, love the Tiki Hut. Oh my gosh, they have a TV. And a fan, wow. So you can see one site after another how big and roomy they are. And they are pretty much all pull-throughs. Some of them actually have the tiki hut with the outdoor kitchen. And there's a few of them that are buddy sites. So if you're smart enough to mention that when you make your reservation, there's, you know, uh, you know, I don't know the exact number. There's not a lot of them, but if that's what you want, make sure you ask for it. We're going to check out some of the deluxe uh, sites here. Most of them are occupied, but not this one. Wow, it is big. Huh. Look how big this is. <laughs> yeah, imagine the Chan Man trying to sit on that uh, hammock. Good boy. So you get this really nice kitchen under a tiki hut. How big this is, wow. Got all these chairs to go with it. Do some serious cooking back here. So once again, a Chan Man pro tip. Enjoy the facilities and really they throw you back on your cheap site. Nothing like an action-packed video. We were doing a little reading this morning, and Camp Margaritaville here has 326 RV spots, but it also has 75 of these camper cabins. And if you look down this way, you can see how many they are, and they're typically all around the perimeter. And what a wonderful way to include your family uh, and your friends at different functions and parties and get-togethers. If they don't have a rig, they don't need to stay in a hotel and be outside to action. They can have that thing, and who knows, they might end up being the center of activity. If the weather's a little shaky, you'll be inside their cabin. So it looks like a lot of these cabins have no smoking and no pets. Good to know for those with uh, allergies. They also have cabins that are wheelchair accessible. So we're walking over to the main area. You can see they've got a lot of designated uh, golf cart parking spots. 
and golf carts can easily be rented here. This is where the pool is and the, the main tiki hut. We're actually happy it's a little bit overcast today because sometimes it's tough to get a good shot of how cool the pool looks. We're hoping nobody's in it so we can do that, but in a few days, the beautiful weather is rolling back in. Yes. And then it would be embarrassing Sue catching me in my bikini. <laughs> well, actually, I wear a Speedo. Boy. Wow. Got this great stage, and yes, they do have entertainment. We'll have to look at the app, see if there's anything going on tonight. Which brings us to their app. You definitely want to download it. Anything and just about everything you want to know about this resort is there. You can look under guest information or the amenities. Here, under amenities, you're going to find all kinds of things to do. No one should be bored, that is for sure. Let's get back to checking things out. So in the evening, this is really nice. They have a couple fire pits and it definitely attracts uh, the crowd, especially on a cooler night, which uh, was last night. <laughs> Good morning. So right by the Tiki Hut is their, their main pool. Ooh, look at that. Let's go in. So this is kind of nice. They've got a... Uh, They've got it where you can walk right in, so those of us that do not like using uh, the stairs can walk right in, got your little kids, or if you're uh, needing some help getting in, easy in. We'll get back to the pool on a sunnier day, but let's take a look at the amenities at the other end of the pool. It's nice to know there's restrooms nearby too. They do have a workout room that's really nice. This is pretty nice. They have a designated rally room or a meeting or maybe classroom. And there's also a couple laundry rooms. Here's one of them near the main pool. And then right around the corner, you're going to find one of the dog Bargaritaville spas. Pretty nice, you can even open this up, get them in and a dog park. This is one of the dog parks. And on the far end of the park, there's another dog spa. So let's say for whatever reason, you decided to have a rescue greyhound dog and Grey you need a good spot to run. Wow, look at, look at that. You put that dog here, it's gonna be like a dog heaven for him, you know? Let's go check out the camp store. They really do have a nice assortment of items. As full-time RVers, we are glad to hear they do accept package deliveries that we can pick up here in the camp store. This is also where you rent your golf clubs and balls for miniature golf. And they also sell propane. Which brings us to the mini golf course. So one thing that we're commenting a lot as we're making our way through here, this place is so well maintained. It is so clean, inviting, really. No, 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 I see an exception to that. Look at this. Look, Look at it. All right, now it's all right. <sighs> they have two pools. This is the main pool with a pretty cool slide. This resort is definitely kid friendly. Check out this splash pad. I can see my three-year-old grandson having a blast here.
And that's not all. There are a few playgrounds throughout the park. And then there's the Parrot Island Green. If you look at the app, you'll see every day they have activities for kids in the green. The activity section also shows entertainment for adults too, like music at the stage pretty much every night. And just to add to the fun for the kids, right beyond is where they have their ice cream truck. Ha -ha. So we've seen signs all over the place that on Sunday they're having a paradise market here. So we're going to come and check out and find out just what it is. Is it a flea market? Is it a farmer's market? We'll get back here on Sunday and let you know. So here we are at the building where the RV Unplugged rally is going to be in August. And this building is air conditioned. It's giant. Sue can't turn the camera around that way. But there's a giant jumbo screen I'm looking on that is about as big as three or four garage doors. It's giant. And over here, I'm looking at all sorts of secret appliances mm -hmm. and things that are going to be used in the show. And we can't show you out of respect for the production, but it's awesome. Let's take a look at the rest of this stuff. So you're here in August for the show and you're going, hey, I wonder if I can get a margarita at Margaritaville. Well, they're going to have a bar. It's got a giant margarita making machine in there. And I'm sure in August, you're going to be in the mood to have one, whether you drink or not. Just ask for a virgin one. Remember when I commented how uh, well maintained this place is? Yeah. Let's flip it again. They do have another pool back here. This actually was all under construction two years ago when we were here. So uh, let's go check this out. Sunbake Barbecue is here. License to chill pool and bar. And there's your menu. It is a bike friendly resort. You can see they've got uh, racks everywhere for anybody that has a bike, wants to get around. Well, let's check out this first. The chill pool seems to be where the adults hang out. The best part is both pools are heated year round. There are more cabins back by the chill pool on the retention pond and eagle preserve where you can see an eagle's nest. For us nature lovers, this is awesome. So you have shorts on, what the heck? I know, it's finally warm. It's like yeah. 77 degrees, finally. Yeah, I haven't wore shorts in so long that when I first put them on, I had them on backwards. I believe that, <laughs> I believe that. So we're going over to Frank and Lola's Pizzeria. It's right here in the resort. Um, it's open seven days a week. So I'm looking at their menu on the, um, remember they have the Camp Margarita app. They have everything in there. And they do. If you look at the Margaritaville app, you'll see they have several options for eating right in the resort. Today we're checking out Frank and Lola's Pizzeria at the Feeding Frenzy, which is right by the main pool. All right, we're gonna have um, the Lola pie, one Frank's pie, okay. and then one Caesar salad. Okay. Yeah. And that'll be all for you? Yep. That's it. All right. So you don't have coffee here, do you? No. Can we bring our own coffee back there in our 
Okay, we weren't sure if we could bring drinks in here at all. Okay. Yeah, like in a coffee. Not for time, time breakable. Right. Yeah. Okay. Give you a hard time. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. All right. So we already hear what we go around to pick up. Yep. Okay. The other side will be picked okay. up. Six oh one. Yeah, I'll pay, honey. I'll pay as usual. So the, on the feeding frenzy thing, you order here also, and it comes off the same port bowl over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh well, the there, there's two pizza and a salad. Oh, the bar, yeah, the the, 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 pizza, are, the, the pizza's are. ready. Yeah, pizza's ready, honey. Where's the buzzer? Go get it. Well, it, the buzzer's in my pocket. Butthole. How long? How it, long is that been A couple minutes now. Oh my God! Go. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we asked if we could, in non breakable uh, containers, if I could bring coffee. They said yes. We have a non breakable container. Sue brought her water. Here's the Caesar salad. And you'll notice they said that we should enjoy it. And this is. Lola's pie, it's got the keyword goat cheese. Okay, you want to sell Sue a bridge? Just say that the bridge comes complete with goat cheese and she'll buy it. Lots of napkins, and I have Frank's pie. Boy, that does look good. The presentation on that pizza is good. Let's check this one out. You ready for the reveal? Oh my God, that does look good. Are you going to participate in today's experiment? Oh, that be? Well, it's twofold. Okay. First and most importantly, we're going to breakfast yes. at the feeding frenzy area here at Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale, Florida. And as important as that might seem to guys, because we love breakfast, the real test is going to be to see if I can get through breakfast without staining my shirt. Because oh, I got a brand new shirt on and it's white. And I'm telling you, the older I get, I'm just like a little kid. So we brought our coffee along and our black tea in non-breakable containers. Uh, they don't have coffee that I saw on the menu for breakfast. So we're trying to err on the side of completeness. Let's get going. All right, so breakfast is served just Wednesday through Sunday, not on Monday and Tuesday. So it's Friday today. We're going to check it out. Looks like a pretty nice menu, too. And I think it's only from 8 to 10. Right, 8 so to 10. you got to be Johnny on the spot. That's right. So Mark's up early for himself. This is amazing. <laughs> you did it, hon. All right, well, let's check out their breakfast and uh, see how it is. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Good. So we had the uh, pizza a couple days ago, and it was excellent. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try two things, and then we're going to split them. We're going to have the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Yeah, I guess on the croissant. Yeah. And then the French toast thing. And look at this. We beat the rush. They're stacking right. up behind Anything them. Anything to drink? Emergency. I'll take care of it. What did you order? <laughs> Lovely day. Great napkins. And this is French toast. Have a lovely day. Look at the presentation in there. That looks great. Yeah. Now what about this one? That's got bacon. Wow. Look at that. And I ordered, I paid extra to have all the calories removed. How's that going? Yeah, I think they missed that part. <laughs> so the burning question is, Sue, mm. how did I do? Did I get any stains on my shirt when I was eating? Mm. Yay! Okay. The Tiki Bar is a fun place to hang out. Not that we drink much, but it's a gathering place for sure. I'm just checking out the special. All right. Let's belly up and get our two for one, honey. That's right. get that. They also have a stage with live music pretty much every night, and that was my favorite. And I mean, how can you resist gathering at the fire pit? Catching up with old friends? 
and making new ones. Thanks for joining us here at Camp Margaritaville here in Auburndale, Florida. We definitely will be back with our family. This is such an awesome resort. It's a vacation right here. You really don't need to go anywhere else. You can save 10% on your visit just by using the code OGIM10. We really appreciate your support. See the few usage restrictions in the description below. So unless we see you on the road or in a campground, hopefully we'll see you next time right here on YouTube. Safe travels. So once again, Sue, this is the engineering portion of the OGIM show. It's uh, no surprise that resort is mostly for adults. They got plenty to do here for kids, but it's, it's kind of a, a playground for adults. I want you to see the extra thinking that went into this resort. Check the height of these benches oh my God. for old folks like me who... Wow. Uh, oh! Wow. This is like the extra tall toilets you get when from Costco when you turn to be a senior. <laughs>